Many of you would have guessed who this next Red Dead Redemption 2 Origins of video would be about. Of course, today's video is going to be about Bill Williamson. Bill Williamson is a skilled rifleman and demolitionist, being awfully fond of explosives. And despite not being the sharpest tool in the shed, he's fiercely loyal to Dutch van der Linde. In today's video, we're going to be exploring his backstory up until the events of Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I'm going to give this subseries a rest and focus on other projects and then resume at a later date. Anyway, less on that, please enjoy the origins of Bill Williamson. Marion Williamson was born in 1866. Embarrassed by his peculiar forename, which is apparently a family name, he would later adopt the nickname Bill, on account of his surname being Williamson. During Bill's childhood, his father was an alcoholic. He would mix whiskey with moonshine and slowly lost his mind to the completely excessive alcoholism, leading Bill to fear becoming just like him. At one point in his early adult life, Bill would join the army and was assigned to the 15th Infantry and claimed to have served in the cavalry as well. He claims to have fought against Native Americans and will often retell the stories of his time in the army at the campfire. You know, back when I was in the army, and uh, we was out on patrol. We couldn't light no fires. See, our captain had a theory. He said a lit fire would just bring the engines on us that much quicker. But the only problem was, no fire brought the wolves on us. Yes, sir. So there we were at night, either cold and frightened of the wolves or warm and frightened of the Indians. And I could never figure out what frightened me more. Despite talking about it often at camp, when asked about his time in the army, Bill often came off defensive. In 1892, Bill Williamson would leave the army. I had just left the army. A and it wasn't on a case of no dishonorable discharge like I'm sure some of you have heard around here. But it was by mutual consent on the account of our differing opinions, or that's how the, that's how the captain put it. Differing opinions. The army, they had their opinion, and I had mine. We was equals, but we went our separate ways. <laughs> Contrary to what Bill would have you believe, he was dishonorably discharged from the army. At his tent in camp, you can find his dishonorable discharge papers that read as follows. US Army Discharge Certificate. This is to certify that Marion Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder and deviancy, dated this 27th day of December 1892. Officer in charge, Colonel Harold T. Irving, 15th Infantry. An interesting detail he misses out is that he attempted to kill somebody, and also whatever deviancy means. Deviancy, as a blanket word, just means differing from a norm or from the accepted standards of society. Before we get ahead of ourselves, this isn't an archaic way of labelling gay people, necessarily anyhow. It just means that Bill exhibited abnormal social behaviour. He mentions in a campfire story already shown in this video that he had and voiced differing opinions to his higher-ups when he was in the army. Insisting upon his views and breaking down the social norms of your regular military hierarchy, among other things I don't doubt, could make him appear socially incompatible with the military, and that could be what deviancy means. It's a broader defined word than people make it out to be when talking about Bill Williamson, especially online, so I just wanted to point that one out. But that's also not to say it doesn't mean what people think it might. Anyway, after Bill's US Army discharge, he found himself sleeping rough for around a year. I spent a few nights sleeping rough, I admit. I, uh, I, <laughs> funny. <laughs> I, 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 I was robbed. I, <laughs> I, I was robbed by someone I was a, well, you know, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, no, no, it, it was a woman. It was, I, I was robbed by a woman. Bill's homelessness and destitution led him to a life of crime. One day, roughly around 1893, Bill would attempt to rob Dutch Vanderlind. Dutch's response was simply to laugh at Bill. This irritated him, 
though Dutch showed Bill kindness and brought him into the Vanderlind gang. Bill's biggest fear in life was having no purpose, and being a part of Dutch's gang gave him said purpose. As a result, Bill became fiercely loyal to Dutch Vanderlind especially, often looking at Arthur Morgan and John Marston, who were Dutch's prized sons, with jealousy. Bill was a tough man and for the next six years he would operate as a gunman for the Vanderlind gang. Despite constant ribbing from his comrades, he was a well-respected member of the gang and would partake in various crimes across the West. While Bill wasn't especially smart, he was a valuable member due to his toughness, ability with a rifle and expertise with explosives. Bill is a socially awkward man who's always seeking approval, but he's also aggressive and violent in nature prone to outbursts of anger. Just like his father before him, he's an alcoholic and will drink himself to sleep. He finds himself being mocked quite relentlessly by other members of the gang, due to either his alcoholism, his lack of intelligence, or the mistakes he makes. It's also believed that during his time with the gang, he formed a fairly close friendship with Javier Esquire. Apparently, in the comments of my last Red Dead Redemption 2 video, that's how you pronounce Javier's surname. Thanks! And apparently, according to Arthur Morgan, Bill Williamson carries a big secret. This is never outright clarified, however, it may be alluded to. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer! <laughs> Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video on the origins of Bill Williamson. There's plenty more of this sort of mini-series of videos to get done eventually, however, like I said, I want to park it for the time being and go and do some different stuff for a little bit. I do want to get a video done on LA Noir. that'll be pretty fun because I've been playing through that live on stream and it's been brilliant. So that'll be something to expect after my playthrough of that game is complete and I look forward to doing it because it'll be nice and fun. Of course I'm also focusing a lot on my brand new history channel Decades which I just won't shut up about but that's kind of the point. Subscribe if you want to. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic, and check out the links in the description and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you so wish to do so. I don't really post anything important there, but fuck it, right? Anyway, with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, so until next time, please take care, and goodbye.